to those are very very violent groups that we have all seen that you have just reeled off so I'll ask Hafiq Hamid Dr. Hamid yeah. is Islam more violent than any other faith uh, I believe the, there are certain areas in Islam that needs to be reinterpreted uh, otherwise we you will face violence at the end other religions have probably some texts that may lead to violence if you understood it literally however many of these religions have reformed already Islam has not reformed yet and the same anachronistic old-fashioned ways of teaching are still today so valid and the is that a taught. yes or no is it more violent uh, I, I believe with the literal understanding of it, 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 and with its history as written in Sharia books, today it is more violent. Tom Fuentes. Yes, it must be. Otherwise, how could all these groups take the name of Islam to become violent and, and do what they do? They're the ones that call themselves Islamists. They're the ones, you know, ISIS calling themselves the Islamic State. We didn't pin that name on them. We didn't say you're the non-Christian, you're the non-Jewish, the non-Buddhist, the non-Hindu, the non-Sikh. They said we're the Islamic State. So they're interpreting uh, the, belief, the teachings of the Prophet, the, the uh, teachings of the Quran, and they're twisting it. They're putting it on it. But the, the fundamental basis is that they're calling themselves Islam and then cutting people's heads Wait. off. Go ahead, Mr. Wait, Tukar. Don. Uh, first of all, I find it absolutely astounding that a former assistant director of the FBI would say that Islam is a more violent religion than most other religions. If you look at the Lord's Resistance Army and Joseph Kony that was made famous in the Kony 2012 campaign, that is a Christianist organization. You look at... Uh, you look at Christian uh, extremist organizations here in the United States that have bombed gay nightclubs and abortion nightclub uh, abortion clinics in the name of Christendom, but every mainstream Christian knows that these are completely outside of the, any but normative by saying, understanding. But by saying, uh, when, let me jump on, by hold, saying hold, that hold. Islam is more violent than any other religion, it doesn't mean that other religions aren't violent. We're talking about history and the reality. If you're looking at the bombing of abortion clinics, you're not looking at the numbers of a 9/11. You're not looking at the numbers of a Boko Haram. You're not looking at the many people who are killed from ISIS and, and, and beheaded. People don't go into abortion clinics. Yes, death, death is death. But Don, people don't go Don, into abortion I'm, I'm clinics and behead okay, people. Uh, Don, uh, those, listen, what he's saying is true, at, Don. Look, those, go ahead, look Tom. At, look what he's saying is basically look at, true. There was this level of violence in the other religions. The, the ancient Israelites did similar things in towns and, and killed everybody, men, women, and children in a town thousands of years ago. The, the Catholics, you know, there were Catholic priests that accompanied the conquistadors on the ships back in the day when well, they landed about in Mexico modern, and landed so in South about America. Modern times and now. they committed the Spanish Inquisition. That's what I'm trying to say. So major religions have had that period of time where they were as violent and, and frankly as horrible as could be to try to convert people to their teachings. And if they didn't get converted by hearts and flowers, they were killed or, or uh, convinced by persuasion and violence to do it. So what I'm trying to say is that, yes, in the modern era here and now, those other religions have kind of moved on past that being their normal method of operating to convert people to believe their belief. These people like ISIS, al-Baghdadi, is basically saying to moderate Sunnis, any Shia, any Yazidi, any Christian, anybody, I'm going to kill all of you.